So today we are going to cover the best power pads for EUCs and even a seat. What is my thoughts about the power pads from EUC market when I tested so many power pads like the Grizzler ones and what is my <laughs> experience riding seated on the Emotion V12? And what is my thoughts obviously about leather pads? Are they good, are they bad? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Metpack, and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today, finally, we are going to do the review of the power pads from EUC Market and EUC Market. Thank you so much to send me these ones and being so patient to wait for this review. As you guys know, I had a lot of issues with my V12 high torque. It was my fault in a certain way, but yeah, it took a while to be able to ride again with this wheel. And if you don't have seen that video, definitely check it out. But today we are going to talk about leather power pads. What is my thoughts? What you can get with this one? And obviously also I have done other videos about the evolution of Emotion. If you don't have seen that video, definitely check it. And what is my thoughts about the Emotion V13? That in my point of view is more than a, a new concept, is the evolution of a brand that is always trying to make things better. But today we are going to basically talk a little bit more about the configuration that I have here on my V12 high torque and it's completely different configuration that you'll find in there. So if you've seen my full review of this wheel, this wheel is more like a wheel for me to have a little bit more comfort, right seated, relax and that's the configuration that I choose for this wheel. We are not going to do obviously a full review of this one because I've done previously but we are going to cover this power pads. So I never tried before any leather power pads. This was my first experience and I have to say that in the beginning I was a bit skeptical about these power pads. I even said to UC Market and he said give a time, try, test them out, try to change the position of the things and let me know your thoughts. So one of the things that you guys already know when I for example review the Grizzler pads that is up today one of my favorite power pads of all times is that I like to feel in control. I like to use my braking power pad that is the back of the, the wheel very very high and I like to use the front part low. So the front part of my leg is not constantly hitting in it. In here obviously the configuration is completely different. You are going to have two parts so you have this one to help you to jump and obviously to lock in place and this one to accelerate and brake. For me that I have very narrow legs, this part here is a bit too too wide but I like how comfortable it is and even how much comfort I have when I try to accelerate and even when my legs they hit here, even if I don't like so much that they are so high on the legs, they never really hurt me. Another thing that I really like about this configuration is the amount of protections that you can deliver to this wheel. So it's almost impossible that if you hit on the sides you are going to damage your wheel. First of all you are going to damage your power pads and after you'll damage the most important part that is your wheel. But this part I always felt that was a bit too wide when I wanted to brake because like you can see on the V12 high speed I use the back power pad that before me I think nobody was really using in this way. I use it to brake because when I brake it I kick to the side and having something that is a little bit higher on my leg it helps me to do that to just push to the side. So in the beginning I was not really enjoying because I was feeling that I have too much space in here. So how I have solved that is to put the jumping power pad higher on the back so in that way I could use this as a curving pad and also giving me more reassurance that when I'm braking I feel that my leg is basically stuck in there and I start loving to ride with these pads. Besides that obviously having this seat that is much larger on the back will give me more reinsurance when I'm seated so I will not start to just come on the back. I really like the shape, it doesn't give any pressure on my legs and you can see from the front is thinner than the sides of the wheel so it's very very comfortable and even it helps me to curve so definitely a pro and also possible to continue to use your handle. Yes this handle in my opinion they made it better on the previous generations than now but it continued to work well that is is a bit of movement in here nothing to concern about it I've been riding seated almost every single day since I basically put this together 
and I've been loving it a lot. But in comfort, you are there. If you want to accelerate, you can. If you want to brake, you can. And having obviously two different parts to have on the bottom and on the top, you can customize how much you want the pads to be open. Because like I said, if you bring this a little bit higher, it's going to give you the sensation that the top part is more narrow, so definitely a plus. And another thing that I really like, because these parts are much more soft than obviously the Grizzler pads, to be riding and standing up and seating and standing up, it's much, much easier for my legs to don't get stuck on them. So if you like to ride seated, these power pads in leathers gives you that extra flexibility if you want, but I can continue to accelerate super, super hard on this wheel and brake super, super hard because the bottom part is really, really hard. So it helps you to always be in control. Obviously, because the bottom part is so hard, what happens is if you are not using like motorbike boots, this can be a bit harsh on your legs. So have that in mind. But for me that I use motorbike boots and I have talked about comfort and those boots that I use, if you are a bit more curious and why you should use motorcycle boots harder to give more comfort and more control, definitely check that other video. But for me, this is definitely not a problem at all. Another thing that I have to say that I don't like so much in this type of configuration is a thing that I hate the most. I love the look when you look to the sides. I think it looks simply gorgeous and they made what I wanted. I said, can you do black with orange so they can match the rim? of the Emotion V12 high torque and they've been lasting for a while. Okay, I have already 500 kilometers on this wheel. So no problem at all with these pads until today. And the only thing that I've been struggling a bit is how wide these power pads, they look. Obviously, if you look to Grizzly pads, they don't look so bulky. So it doesn't make your wheel look so bulky, so fat, if it makes sense. In the same time, if I look to the sides, the wheel just look perfect. And like I said, having all these lines in orange, plus the button turn on and off in orange, the rim in orange, I simply love it. It seems that it makes part of this wheel. Another thing that I simply love on these power pads, I don't have them, but you know those lights from thread lights you'll be able to put them, for example, here to on the back to be a bit more visible. That is one of the problems of the Emotion V12. You are not really visible on the back, but if you are using these power pads, you'll be able to attach them here to be more visible and you can even attach two on the front. And another thing, if you don't want that the front parts, they are so hard, you can always open this and take a bit of the the material that you have inside your power pads or if you want them to be even harder you can do it or even if you want to hide a tag inside it's very easy just to put it inside something and close it once again so there is a lot of potential with these power pads if you want to purchase them they are discounted on the link on the description below so feel free to use it so yeah is it one of the best power pads that i tried until today i have to say that yes i simply love them with some caviars like i said i wanted that the front part was a little bit lower i would like that is a bit narrow on the top but i sort it out through the bottom part like i just explained to you guys if you are searching for something that is more comfortable to ride when you are seated and to stand up quite easily without feeling that your legs get stuck on the power pads this is a great solution if you want power pads to put some shred lights attached that's a great solution if you want some power pads to hide uh, air tag or whatever on your wheel that's a great solution so for all these reasons and also when we talk about the the seat it sits behind your screen so even when you are riding you have the possibility to see how fast you are going so definitely a great solution not the issue that we normally see on the veteran Sherman that when you put those seats you are not able to see your screen so yeah this is my full review of these power pads from UC market and obviously this seat in leather all in leather. What is your thoughts? My name is Marco. This is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.